Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at grid references. By the end of the video I would like everybody to know what grid references are and when to use them and also to be able to use four and six figure grid references. The basic purpose of a grid reference is to locate things on a map. They tell us where something is. On the ordnance survey maps we use these imaginary lines which we call grid lines and they divide the map into grid squares. These lines can give us a location of something either using a four figure reference or a six figure reference. There are two different types of grid lines. Some that run vertically upwards. These we call eastings because their number increases as you move towards the east. And the second type we call uh, northings. These are horizontal lines and that's because their number increases as you move towards the north. Now let us examine exactly how these grid references work. Uh, what I'm adding now is I'm adding the eastings. So these are the vertical lines. And you can see it that I'm giving them a number. They have to be two numbers to be able to fit in with the proper way of working out grid references. In this case I'm running from 0, 3 all the way up to 0, 7. We start from the uh, left hand side over here, so 0, 3 would be the first one that we would read, and we read going along ways. Now I'm going to be adding in the northings. These are the horizontal lines that we read second. In this case the numbers don't have to be the same uh, or follow the same sequence, so I'm going with 23, 24, 25 and 26, just to make it a little bit different. And we read the northings second. Now, look at this yellow box. If we want to tell where this yellow box is on a grid, the first thing that we need to do is we need to read the eastings. We check 0, 3, no, 0, 4, no, 0, 5. 0, 5 is the first line or the first easting that comes into contact with this box. And then we work our way up. 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5 is the first northing line that comes into contact with this box. Therefore this yellow box would be grid reference 0525. However, this only tells us a large area. Now on a map this area could be very large in size. It could be a few kilometers uh, squared. So if we want to be a little bit more precise, we have to break down each of these squares into subsections. As you can see, uh, I'm adding them now. In reality, these on a map would not exist, you would not be able to see them uh, and therefore uh, you'd have to mentally put them in there or at least use your ruler to work them out. And what I've done is I've divided up uh, the space between 0, 4 and 0, 5 eastings into 10 equal parts and I've divided up the space of the northings between 2, 4 and 2, 5 again in 10 equal parts making a smaller grid reference over here. Now if we want to find this more precise yellow square or say a feature or a symbol that's found in this area, uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, ensure that we read it in exactly the same way. Firstly, we start by finding the area. In this case it is 0, 4, 2, 4. Then after the 0, 4 we have to work out um, which section um, inside this grid it is. So it'd be 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. 0, 4, 7. And then we work our way up. 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, I started a bit wrong. 5, 6. There we go. I should have started 1 from here. Uh, so it'd be 0, 7, 2, 4, 6 in this instance. All right. This is now a proper um, ordnance survey map. Uh, the grids are not as clear to see. You can see these blue lines over here. These are the uh, eastings and then we go these are the northings. We start over here from uh, 82 and we start over here from 21. Now let us presume we want to find the grid reference of uh, this square. We start from the left hand side to try and identify the first easting that comes into contact with the square. And as we read along, we come into contact it over here. 
eight seven. So the first part of the four figure grid reference would be eight seven. Then we start reading uh, the northings. The first northing that comes into contact over here is twenty six. So the grid reference for this square is eight seven two six. And if we want to be more precise and we want to find this parking over here, um, we can see that it's eight seven and um, probably eight seven eight. This point here, um, two six, and I would say three. So eight seven eight two six three. Now, sometimes on a uh, grid reference, you have to be a little bit careful about symbols. There's an excellent one over here. Do we see this um, caravan and camping site? Now, the symbol is actually at grid reference eight eight one. Two six nine, or two six eight, but uh, that's not the grid reference of where this is found in real life. Do we see this little line that's coming from it? This is trying to indicate exactly where it's found. Sometimes in ordnance survey maps, you can't fit the symbols into the uh, right area, otherwise it gets too crowded. So they will put them off in a spare bit of um, the map, like this one, and then connect it with an arrow. So be very careful about that. So the caravan and campsite that you can see over here is actually not found in um, this, the four-figure good reference eight eight two six, but it's found exactly over here um, where my laser pointer is uh, looking at now. You can see a similar situation with this telephone box over here. It's just one of those things that you need to look out for. If you found this video useful, please press like. And if you like this type of content and you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a really great day.